We will continue tracking the story and bringing you the latest information. But meanwhile, the Malaysian government has officially ended the search for the missing jet MH370. The jet was on a routine flight from Kuala Lumpur to the Chinese capital of Beijing with 239 persons on board. The government has sent out text messages to the kith and kin of the passengers on board the ill-fated jet. The Malaysian authorities have said that they reached this conclusion on the basis of unprecedented analysis of satellite data from Inmarsat. This move by the Malaysian authorities has annoyed the Chinese government, which has sought conclusive proof. I was briefed by representatives from the UK Air Accidents Investigation Branch or AAIB. They informed me that Imaset, the UK company that provided the satellite data, which indicated the northern and southern corridors, has been performing further calculations on the data using a type of analysis never before used in an investigation of this sort, they have been able to shed more light on MH370's flight path. Based on their new analysis, Inmarsat and the AAIB have concluded that MH370 flew along the southern corridor and that its last position was in the middle of the Indian Ocean, west of Perth. This is a remote location, far from any possible landing sites. It is therefore with deep sadness and regret that I must inform you that according to this new data, flight MH370 ended in the southern Indian Ocean. We will be holding a press conference tomorrow with further details. In the meantime, we wanted to inform you of this new development. Well, the heart-wrenching scenes were witnessed when all hope faded for the relatives of the 239 passengers as they were seen breaking down. My son, daughter-in-law, grandson, three generations of my family. This is the extinction of my whole family. The Chinese government should come out and say something to us. They should talk to us commoners.